In this video, I present you a multimodal model from Intern LM called as Intern LM X Composer 2.5. This model excels in various text image comprehension and composition applications, achieving GPT 4V level capabilities with only 7 billion LLM backend. It is also quite good at video understanding and in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will also use it to understand a sample video. I will be installing it all local courtesy to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description plus I am also going to put a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now coming back to this intern LM's multimodal model, this can seamlessly extend to 96k long context via rope extrapolation. This long context capability allows IXC 2.5 or intern LM X composer to perform exceptionally well in tasks requiring extensive input and output context. You can do ultra high resolution understanding with it. You can do fine grained video understanding and that is what we are going to see as it treats videos as an ultra high resolution composite picture consisting of tens to hundreds of frames, enabling it to capture fine details through dense sampling and also high resolution for each frame. You can also do multi-turn multi-image dialogue plus you can do web page crafting as it can be readily applied to create web pages by composing source code such as HTML, cascading style sheet and even JavaScript following long text image instructions. You can also compose high quality text image articles with it by using um, chain of thought or even DPO techniques to significantly enhance the quality of its written context which means it is quite friendly when it comes to fine tuning. The performance has been quite good so far the benchmarks I have seen on their repo as it has been evaluated on 28 benchmarks outperforming existing open source models on 16 benchmarks. For GPT-4 Vision and Gemini Pro it has beaten them on 16 key tasks which is quite, quite I would say impressive. Anyway, so let's get right into it. Let's get it installed on our local system. As you can see I am using Ubuntu here and I will be installing it in Jupyter Notebook and my NVIDIA card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and let me first create a Conda environment where we will be installing everything nice and clean separate from my local system. So let's wait for it to get installed and I am using Python 3.9 because they have recommended it in their repo. Let's install the Jupyter Notebook too. Should it take too long? And then I will clear the screen. Let's wait for it to finish. That is all done. I have cleared the screen. Let's now launch our Jupyter Notebook by simply typing Jupyter Notebook. It is going to launch it in the browser. So let's wait for it to launch. That's done. Let's create a new notebook like this. And that is all done. It is using Python 3 kernel. Next step, let's install some of the prerequisites. For prerequisites, I'm going to install heaps of things with different versions as recommended by them. And it is all in their model card or your repo. And I will drop the link in video description. So let's install it. So it is installing ta Torch, Torch Vision, Transformers, Gradius, and Tenspeed, Tim, and heaps of other things. So let's wait for it to get installed. Should it, it will take around four to five minutes, I guess. Okay, it took a fair bit of time, but eventually everything is installed, it seems. Let's quickly check. If, and always make sure to check if there are any errors or discrepancies. Okay, so thankfully everything is done. Let's next git clone the repo of this intern LM and CD to it. And as I mentioned, I'm going to put this in um, video description, the link. So don't worry about it. Let's check we are in that directory. We are. That is awesome. And now let's download our model after importing some of these libraries. And as you can see here, I'm just importing the torch and transformers and then we are uh, enabling the gradients. And then here we are downloading the model and its tokenizer. So let's run it. 
and it has started downloading the model it seems there are three tensors of this and the first tensor is around 10 gig so let's see how long does this take All the shards of the models have been downloaded and model is also now on my GPU and the size is around 22 gig or 23 gig so make sure you have that much space on your disk. Next up let's try to do the inference with a video. So here I am giving it a prompt that here are some frames of a video describe this video in detail and then I have given it a video which is already present in the repo and I will show you too. And then it is just doing some uh, inference here and then go from there. Before I run this, let me show you the video. So this is a video which we are referring to, which is in their example. So let me play it. So I just reduced the audio. And you see that there is some Olympic athlete there who is moving around. The video is around two minutes. And there is some race which is happening in the Olympics. And I think this is something I'll just make it faster and then I guess this guy has won. So let's increase it and he is, seems quite happy. So Chinese athlete with number 1363. Cool. And that's it. So let me minimize it and let's run it. So here we are asking it. Here are some of frames of the video. Describe this video in detail. So let's run it to see what happens. Let's wait for it to come back. Okay, unfortunately it has given me an error here. The error is that it needs this flash attention, which is a bummer. Because I don't have that GPU. But let's see, I will install it and see if this GPU supports flash attention. And that will be a real bummer if it doesn't. But let's try it out. But if you have the GPU which does, then maybe try it out. These are all the instructions which you can use, but let me try it out. So I'm going to in install flash attention first. And then you see my GPU doesn't really support it and it is going to give me a lot of headache here. So hopefully, um, you know, they will make it a bit more user friendly. Not everyone has A100, especially I don't have it. So this won't work on this GPU. Uh, despite of the fact that I have followed all of the details and uh, instructions from their GitHub repo. And this is a problem with these sort of internal LM models where the, and also similar uh, models from the same company that they keep on building something which doesn't run on commodity GPUs. Even I have got a beefy GPU with uh, this 48 GPU VRAM. Anyway, uh, bad luck, but at least now you know what this model is and how you can get installed and how you can uh, play with it. I will drop the link to it in the video description and by the way, you can find these instructions in this GitHub repo, which I will also drop the link in the video description and they have some of the examples here uh, in this model card. Okay guys, I couldn't let it go so I just paused the video, I upgraded my GPU to A100 and after a lot of battling I was able to install that flash attention and I will do an another video on that flash attention installation with A100 and Ubuntu, it's a real battle anyway but eventually after much blood and sweat and frustration I was able to get this model to generate the response as you can see that it has given us a very good, by the way to be very honest and fair that um, good description of what exactly that video was doing as I showed you earlier. So you can find this information on their GitHub repo. Let me quickly take you there. So this is a GitHub repo. So if you go there on internal LM X composer, you can find this stuff there. I will also drop the link in video description. They have just given it there. Not very, very nicely written, quite cryptic, but still if you follow the video plus the code there uh, behind here somewhere, you should be able to get it installed. This is the one which I followed. I just made some changes which you have already seen in the video. So that's it. My verdict is the model is good, but the installation is simply awful. And I think they should just get rid of this flash attention or at least maybe have some better instructions for 
quantization available so that people would be able to run it at least on 48 GB of VRAM. Anyway, that's it guys. I hope that you learned something. As I mentioned, I will be doing another video on flash attention because I believe that is a real pain in the back. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And yes, one more thing. Sorry, I forgot to mention. First, I thought I will just delete the video, edit and just present you a vanilla, very edited version. But I, then I thought, no, let me share the pain, the process which we all go through. And because I see in the comments that a lot of people get frustrated with a lot of dependencies and that sort of stuff. I go through it every day multiple times. So this is the way it is. We are working on bleeding edge. Everything is so new. Um, even these creators, they have done a wonderful job, but they're also working on the bleeding edge. So let's support each other. Let's, um, if some dependencies are not working, uh, I know it's very frustrating, but you know, try to get it resolved if, together. This takes time, this takes over and over, and not to mention um, the money we are spending. I just spent around $50 in upgrading it. And but that is not an issue. I mean, as long as someone learns it, that is, I'm happy. But the point of this um, sort of harangue is that I just wanted to share the pain. That is why I didn't edit the video. That's it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, can you please do me a favor and share it among at least with one of your friends. Thanks for watching.